he just completely ruled out the possibility that the priest helping with Priebke was acting on his own, it was part of the church. It's a network that anybody could fall back on at this yeah. point. Now that we have brought the Catholic Church in, and this convinces me that if you could find the right set of people in the church, you could move Adolf Hitler. It's clear to me that the people in the church were helping, but how were they doing it? Let's see what we can find on the database. Here we go. U.S. Army summary of Nazi activity in Rome. Many prominent war criminals are living in Rome illegally under false names. All this activity seems to stem from the Vatican through the monastery of San Girolamo. This is huge. We've got the army recognizing this in a classified document that it's the Vatican that is processing these Nazis. Serving as the central governing body of the Catholic Church, the Vatican is a sovereign city-state ruled by the Pope. Located on 110 acres within the city limits of Rome, Italy, the Vatican operates with complete independence, minting its own currency, issuing passports, and maintaining a state military force known as the Pontifical Swiss Guard. Look, here's the Vatican. And here we have San Girolamo. It's just over a mile away from the Vatican. We are in the Vatican's front yard, and you're having a monastery processing Nazi war criminals in 1945. If we can find evidence of how exactly this monastery was helping Nazis, we could unlock the final piece of the puzzle of the Southern escape route.